parents are starting to talk about the issues long plaguing Canada's sport, Canada says this is, hockey mom. Uh, it's been frustrating to watch everything disintegrate over the last couple of months. In an interview with chief political correspondent Rosemary Barton, Teresa Bailey says they want change. Well, I definitely think the consensus is now that the board needs to go. Um, I've taken so many calls over the last week. Hockey Canada faces increasing pressure to clean house, from the sport minister to the House of Commons committee looking into the issue. I, for one, was uh, cautiously optimistic that over the course of the summer we'd see some action, we'd see some progress, but at the most recent few uh, committee meetings, it's evident that uh, they're still just trying to run a PR exercise. They uh, aren't taking any accountability. Just days after she vigorously defended Hockey Canada, interim chair Andrea Skinner stepped down over the weekend. Some are wondering why more resignations aren't coming. They should know that the optics right now in regards to the support that they're going to be able to get from brands and from their stakeholders is dwindling. And the best thing that they could do for, you know, the, the health and the safety of the organization is to step aside. The players who grew up in a sport culture that tolerates sexual harassment and misogyny have gone on to become coaches, referees and organization leaders, says this expert in safe sport. And that's the very insular nature of hockey. Um, it becomes a bit of an echo chamber. It's self-regulating and, and autonomous with uh, very little external accountability. Another sign of increased pressure. Hockey Quebec now says referees can decide whether to keep wearing the Hockey Canada crest on their uniforms, a decision it made based on pressure from the referees themselves. Marina von Stackelberg, CBC News, Ottawa.